Now, if you're looking to use some of the many free services provided by Google, it's time you created a Google account. Then you can access all of these things from one place. Here we go. Okay, so as you might expect, I've started with a Google search, and here I've got the option to create your Google account. I'll click on there. As it says, one account is all you need. And so, if we did have an account, we'd obviously sign in there, but yeah, we'll just need to fill out this form. One important thing to note is where it says choose your username, it automatically is creating you by default a Gmail email account. But if you do have the one email that you already want to use to access Google, then you can just use your current email address. But I'm going to create a brand new Gmail account. So I've filled out these details. Now when you choose your name, you may find it's already in use, so just make sure you keep going. You can sometimes use numbers to make sure you get around it. Fill out all the areas and then you should just click next step. So the next thing is to agree to the terms and conditions. You have to scroll right down to the end and then you say I agree. There's one final security check which is to check verify the account via either a text message or a voice call to a phone. So I'll say that. And now I should get the code and I can input that code. It says up to 15 minutes. It just literally took a few seconds in this case. And now I can just click continue. And that's it. The account is officially created. We've got an email address. These are some of the services you'll be able to access. So Google Maps, YouTube, Google Drive to share documents, the Google Chrome browser, all these things under this one user account. If I click continue. Now I can set up the whole dashboard and that's for another video really. It's just um, adding your personal details, adding in some security checks, adding your picture, your profile, all that side of things. But yes, once you've got the one Google account in place, you can then use that for accessing multiple different services. Okay.